All right, so I just wanted to tell you about 12 years ago. I don't know, are you familiar with Rabbi Katz and Lincoln Road, Chabad? Yes, a little bit, yeah. So I used to have a store by Lincoln Road. And one Sunday, it was about 12 years ago, I was walking and Rabbi Katz asked me, Did you, you want to put on tilling? You put on tilling today. Or first he asked me, are you Jewish? I said, yeah. He asked me, did you put on tilling today? Now, I grew up from went to Yeshiva University, and for, I don't know, after I graduated, you know, things happened, and I hadn't probably put on Tillin in a couple of years. Wasn't proud of it. But I said to him, I said, you know what, Rabbi? You know, kind of thanks, but no thanks. I already put on today, you know, and I walked away. Told him no. And as I'm walking away, I, I started asking myself, I said, this is, you know, this is what you're doing? I said, not only have you not put on tone, now here's an opportunity knocking for you and, you, and you just shoo it away. And so from that day, every single day, I've put on film. I didn't go back, it wasn't until years later that I happened to have seen him again, he came into my store. I, I said, I had to tell you this story, Rabbi. I said, because you sit out in the heat, and it's not comfortable, and and people, you know, you know, on Lincoln Road, people making fun of him, and he's sweating. And I said, at the end of the day, you go home and you measure your success by how many yeses did you get? How many people did I get to put on film today? So I said, I just want to let you know that I told you no, and it changed my life. So Whoa. you're doing good work. Don't just concentrate on the yeses. Even the noes can have a big impact. Right, good job.